it's Don, the auction professor here. Uh, I had stopped by a few places. I thought I'd show you what I found today. Uh, so it's just a little haul video. Um, this one is actually signed, hand signed, hand numbered. Uh, it's actually a puzzle box. As soon as I saw it, I knew what it was. A lot of people make these. Um, it comes apart. This one slides off from the side here. Pop slides off, and then you actually have it in your little compartment. Um, I paid a dollar. Uh, it's signed, as I said, on the bottom. It's got paperwork on them, what it is. Um, I'll probably get like 20 bucks out of this thing. So uh, look out for little boxes. I sell a lot of little wood boxes. They sell very well. Um, the puzzle ones sell extremely well. Um, again, dollar to 20 buck profit. Um, one of these, this is actually a schmoo. Uh, it's from Lil Abner. Um, it's a 40s, 50s cartoon. Um, I have never seen this one before. I've seen a little bigger one that people think is a bowling ball. Um, I'll probably get, well, this was 79 cents too, I'll probably get, um, say, 35 bucks for it. It's a comic book character piece, so I've never seen a chalkware one before like this, especially this small. There was hundreds of these in the comic book. If you haven't uh, heard of it, look up Shmoo, uh, S-C-H-M-O-O, -O, um, kind of a cute little cartoon. Uh, here's another item. Um, this is a set. I paid $3.99 for the pair. Um, they're solid brass. Uh, I would imagine uh, stuff like this I sell all the time. Um, I'll probably get like twenty-seven fifty out of it. I mean, it's a nice. They're nice, solid piece. These things weigh like two or three pounds, so just needs to be tightened up a little bit. There's screws in the back, so no big deal. Uh, let me set these back down. Here's a, a coffee pot, tea kettle, um, three bucks. Uh, this one is actually another mid-century mod. Um, it's made in Holland, another Dutch piece. Uh, I sell these all the time. I can't keep them in usually. I'll usually keep them for maybe 30 days if I'm lucky. I'm probably going to put like uh, 47 50 maybe 57 50 on this. Um, nice teak wood handle. Um, this is a really good piece. It's solid copper and brass. Um, still usable. Still holds water. I even checked it out. Um, along that line, uh, I always pick up these two. Tin, same place, $3. This one's solid copper again. It's not marked, but this is an early piece, probably 1890s maybe even possibly, or 1910-ish at the latest, I would guess. Uh, it's lined on the inside. Somebody used this, I would guess, at some time. It looks like it's been cleaned on the bottom. I'll put another fifty-seven fifty probably on it. Um, for my three dollar investment, I'm sure I'll get at least twenty five or thirty bucks out of it. It's you know literally handmade. It looks like it's hand spun wood handle. Um, it has one little repair, but you know that's not a big deal. Somebody could fix that if they really wanted to. Another good profit. This was there too, seventy nine cents. It's an East Lake um, clothes hook. Uh, I was kind of surprised to see it. It looks genuine. It still has a nice set of gilt. I'll probably put like. Um, 45 bucks on this piece too. This is like 1880s, 1890s Victorian. Um, I haven't seen one of these in a, in a little while. Um, I've seen similar for a lot more, but um, which I did buy still because these sell pretty well. Um, I usually sell all these kind of things pretty quick. Um, here's another oddball item. I think I already, yeah, I plucked off the label to see if it was going to, on some of these, if the label's on there, sometimes it's, if the label's been on there a while, it'll leave a spot where it discolors because it's not um, the same exposure to the elements is the rest of it. Um, I did peel it off already, but uh, this one's an early one. Um, I would say definitely 1880s, uh, somewhere in that range. It's got a tin bottom. Uh, Lord knows what they packed inside here, but somebody hand curled that over or crimped it with some kind of machine. Uh, this is literally a, a nice early piece. Um, it's been used for decades, and I mean decades. It's got some patina on it. Um, I would at least say 19th century. Uh, it could be older. I don't know. Sometimes I run across pieces like this one here. This one's probably like 1700s. Um, I only paid a dollar or two for it. Um, I actually snapped this when I got home, unfortunately, but uh, I could just solder it back in if I really wanted to. I probably won't mess with it. Um, this is real early. This is colonial era. Totally handmade, just like this is, but this is obviously much, much earlier. Uh, this piece here, I'll probably get, say, 57.50 again. I know it's single, but chances are it's going to sell goth people and, you know, all that kind of stuff. These do sell. Um, I always keep uh, brass in stock to sell it, because it always does. Somebody might come through and buy a couple pieces at the same time. This one here, though, is like a little measure of some sort. 
Some of these, they came in different sizes. The colonial area, they had tankards in many different sizes. Um, this is that old. I've looked at it very closely. The, the bands are solid copper. Um, it, this has seen its days. This has seen some use. Um, I just It's just not fake or artificially aged. For what I paid for it, it's not a con job. This is a, a real early piece. Um, you can even see where they've seamed it. Um, somebody took some time to make this. I mean, this wasn't a quick job. You can still even see hand hand remarks. Being of the age that it is, it's not worth a ton of money. It is a little damaged, but this is probably another fifty or sixty dollar piece, maybe even more. I might just put say ninety five on it in the colonial um, or civil or not colonial, the Revolutionary War section. Um, that's literally when this would date to. Um, you do run across stuff like this. You just kind of know what you're looking for, and had to have seen some of them. I've had things from the Revolutionary War before, powder horns. Um, I've had some really nice powder horns, actually, with you know soldiers engravings on the side. Most of those that I run across are fake or later things or fantasy pieces, but I've had some real ones. They usually sell very high. I think I got like 1,200 for the last one. I sunk four or 500 into it. Um, I took a chance on that one, the last one I had. <clears throat> you run across those, but um, this kind of stuff always sells. A little mini haul though, uh, that's what I got. Um, I will be posting a what I sold video probably today or tomorrow. Um, so be on the lookout. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, um, leave those below. Watch, subscribe the rest of my videos, and tell a friend. Thank you.